essentially fluorocarbon, uh, think of it as a, a monofilament type line, but essentially the difference is um, it has a thing called a refractive index, which is very similar to water. Now, basically, in layman's terms, that means that fluorocarbon is pretty much invisible when it goes into the water. Keep it clean on a regular basis because it is prone to picking up little bits of, of you know, micro detritus in the water, if you like. Um, so it does need to clean on a regular basis. There are lots of different fluorocarbons on the market, most of which these days are pretty good quality. Can be used for mainline. Uh, I actually use fluorocarbon mainline uh, quite a lot for short range fishing. It doesn't cast particularly well, um, and that's due to one of its other properties is it, it sinks extremely quickly. Uh, much quicker than most monofilaments. Um, slightly bigger diameter as well as a result, so it's not really a casting line. Um, so as well as, well as mainline, you can actually get bulk spools such as this. Um, works out a lot cheaper if you buy it in bulk and you can use it as a mainline or I strip it off and use it like 20 foot leaders. Um, and of course, you know, if you go in the lower braking strains, you can also use it for hook link. Uh, the only tip that I would give to remember uh, when using it as a hook link is always use a hook with a straight or an outturned eye. Um, if you use a hook with an inturned eye, the pressure point on the fluorocarbon can just be such that it can, it can cause a weakness. Um, it does tend to be a little bit more brittle than most monofilaments and certainly more brittle than braid. So just be aware of that one. Mm -hmm.